you know, we weren't very good in the first half, and that's that's credit to their defense. My, my biggest fear against this team was is against the Celtics. Can you score against them? Uh, you know, they, I, I think they're just a great defensive team. We really struggled uh, in the first half, and then. Uh, got it going in the third quarter, obviously, D'Angelo. I think, you know, we're getting stops and we got out on the break. And I, I, I think, you know, playing against their set defense is very difficult. So you have to get them, you have to get them back, you know, in a transition situation where they're not set. And I thought we did a great job of that. I think that's how D'Angelo got loose. We had a couple guys, you know, got to the rim a few times. Uh, but uh, and also, you know, just overall good defensive effort by us. I, it was a, uh, uh, you know, really good defensive effort. In terms of intangibles, you talked about juice in pregame. Can you expound on how important that is from your players, but also with several games remaining, being at home, mm -hmm. the juice that you're also getting from the crowd? Huge, because I didn't think we had the juice in the first half. I said, man, we, we still have, you know, hangover from, from that West Coast trip, which happens. You know, I, I felt like we were stuck in mud in the first half, and I felt like the second half, obviously shots going in that, that, that boosts your energy and, and, and we really, um, you know, really upped our energy level. Uh, but hopefully we're kind of through, you know, this recovery, you know, from the, from the West Coast trip. Uh, gave the guys a day off tomorrow. You guys don't have to come in either. Brian, Greg, you guys can stay home. Uh, enjoy a nice Sunday. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I think it's important we recover our legs and, and, you know, obviously, you know, get ready for the best team uh, in the NBA so far this year, record-wise. And, and uh, the way D'Lo got it going in, in the third quarter, he was so hot, 20 points in 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Was there any thought of sticking with him the rest of the, the quarter uh, rather than the rotation? You know, I... I, I that's, a, that's always a tough one, you know, and... and uh, um, you know, I'm going to tell you, on the West Coast, I, I had regrets that I, I left him out there for too long. This stretch is too long. I thought this game's going to come down to the, to the wire, and we, we need to, you know, keep him fresh for the, for the end. So, um, you know, uh, I'm not a big, hot, uh, uh, you know, hot hand guy. I just stay with the hot hand. I like to stay with the rotations and, you know, in less extenuating circumstances. And, Greg, you could say that was extenuating circumstances. <laughs> but, I, I, uh, uh, again, I, I, I checked myself because I felt like on the West Coast I did that a few times. I left him in too long, and we paid for it at the end with, with uh, him being fatigued. And, and if I could ask also, when he came back in the fourth quarter, did you like the way he kind of changed it up and played with the pass then? Yeah, because they were blitzing him. They were all out blitzing him. And the unique thing about D'Angelo, you know, I was telling the coaches, you know, he's... When, when teams double him, he, he can make passes that just a lot of guys can't. You know, uh, just as simple as that. He knows how to get the ball out of the out of the blitz, out of the double team, as good as anybody I've I, I've seen. Really, it's it um, it's amazing. He's got pretty good size, and then he's just got such great touch with his hands and seeing people. So that was key, him changing it up and, and getting out of the, the double team. Kenny, simply put, how much did you guys need this game today, especially mm -hmm. with you know Al and Kyrie out? Huge, you know, it's just a huge, uh, uh, you know. Uh, it, I will say, the, you know, this game, but we know, uh, you know, all these games coming up are playoff games. It's just how we got to look at it. I, 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 we're in it. Uh, you can't shy away from it. They're all playoff games, but it was, it was important to get, get this one. Did, uh, understandably, you got some stops in that let you guys get up and down the court. Um, but, I mean, was there anything that you changed tactically, either during that late run in the second quarter to get back into it? or Defensively or... Either. Yeah, no, I, I think we mixed in the zone again tonight. I, th I think it helps us, you know, uh, it doesn't help us every game, but, you know, tonight I think it, we mixed and matched a little. Uh, uh, I, you know, I knew they were, you know, on a back-to-back. -back. You don't have time, you know, Brad didn't have time to put in a zone offense, you know, overnight. It's, it's, it it kind of, th you know, throws them off rhythm a little. Uh, so I, I, I do think that helped us. And Rody, which is... Yeah, I, I, you know, I think... It's a bruise, nothing, you know, nothing uh, got knocked in the knee. I, th I think, you know, he'll, he'll get it looked at tomorrow. Hopefully he'll be fine. Coach, after D'Angelo Russell got hot in the third, how big was it for Karis LeVert to Oof. put pressure on them and, and get to the free throw line or attack the rim? Yeah, there was a stretch there where we were struggling to score. I think, you know, 
Spencer was a little out of rhythm, and he kind of carried us, and, and he carried us defensively, especially in the zone. You know, he had three or four steals in that zone. He just He's just all over the place with his length and athleticism. He kind of gave us that boost of energy that we needed, and especially needed with that second unit. And, uh, you know, um, I'm really liking how, how, how that second unit looks with him in it. Uh, you know, with Damari in the first unit, definitely confirming, you know, uh, that, that that's, that's a, you know, good way to go to fi finish out the season. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.